Learn to make a simple furniture from hollow bamboo species. Possible species, Bambusa bamboos, Bambusa tulda, Bambusa balcaoa, or other species similar to it available from various region to region. Diameter, 3 to 4 inches or 8 to 10 centimeters. Thickness, 15 to 20 millimeters. Possible species, Dendrocalamus strictus, Dendrocalamus stocksii, Thyrsus teshis oliveri, or other species similar to it available from various region to region. Diameter, 1.5 inches or 3 to 3.5 centimeters thickness 15 to 20 millimeters or solid first we need to clean the bamboo surface in this furniture we are not removing the skin to begin with take the small hand planer and start removing the bulges of the node portion as shown in the video and the backrest frame. This process will help you to make the surface more even at the node portion. Continue this to the number of poles required for the making of this furniture. Once the nodes are clean using steel wool or sandpaper to clean the bamboo surface to make it smoother. This will remove the dirt and make the surface clean. If you would like to remove the top layer of skin, you can use a sharp knife and scrape out the skin. Once the raw material is ready you need to start cutting this into various sizes required. Before cutting you need to understand the required dimensions of various components from the given drawing of the furniture. To understand easily let us divide the furniture into three parts. Front leg assembly. Back leg comb backrest assembly. And seat with armrest assembly. Now start understanding the dimension from drawing. Select appropriate bamboo, which should be straight, and measure it using a measuring tape or steel ruler. According to the length required mark the points that need to be cut. You can either do this measuring and marking for all the three parts mentioned earlier or one by one. Use a hacksaw or a crosscut saw to cut the bamboo poles on the marked lines. Once the bamboo pieces are cut, keep them separately for various parts. Now look at the drawing again and understand the drilling points for various components. This drilling is for joining the tie members using smaller diameter bamboos. Mark the drill points on bamboo poles for the components, as per the drawing. Keep the bamboo straight on the drill bed perpendicular to the drill bit. Use a 30mm Forstner bit for drilling the holes. 
Apply the adhesive in the drilled holes and fix the small cross members, as shown. Clean the edges of drilled holes using a knife and sandpaper. Now fixing the crossbars. Since the diameter of bamboo poles varies, the cross member's dimension lengths needs to be derived by measuring the distance between selected bamboo cut length poles, as demonstrated. So first, arrange the drilled bamboo pieces according to the dimension provided in the drawing. This ensures and keeps the overall outer dimension according to the drawing. Then use two bamboo splits and insert them into the two opposite drilled holes up to the end, and mark them on the splits to get the exact measurements between the holes. This will help you to get the exact length required for the cross members. Select a small diameter bamboo slightly bigger diameter than 30 mm and transfer this measurement to it and mark for cutting. Use either a hacksaw or a crosscut saw to cut the bamboo. Similarly make cross members for all the three parts of the furniture with reference to the drawing provided. Now use a knife and scrape out the top surface of both ends of the cross member to make the diameter into 30 mm, which matches with the drilled holes. Similarly make cross members for all the three parts of the furniture with reference to the drawing provided. Drill the holes to fix the members of frames. If it is too tight the bamboo will crack while inserting it into the drilled holes. Mm -hmm. 
Once the cross member components are ready try to assemble and see the dimensions are perfect. Align it along with the prepared wooden frame. Assembling seed components Drill holes on the joints With adhesive, push the pin to the hole to make this joint stronger and permanent. Prepare gluing mix using any resin-based adhesive. Hardener consistency need to be maintained. Using a bamboo split apply resin glue mix, in the drill holes between connecting cross members. Repeat the same for rest of the components.
Assemble the furniture once all the components are glued and dried. Drill through and through 4mm to 5mm of drill holes near all the joinery as demonstrated in video. Bamboo pins of 4 mm to 5 mm are used to fill these drill holes as demonstrated. Repeat the same for all the joinery. Remove all the jutting out bamboo cross pins using chisel and hammer. Remove any bulging nodes using a knife. Measure the seat rest length and mark the same on the hollow bamboo pole. 
Cut the bamboo pole using a hacksaw or a cross cut saw. Mark the bamboo pole nodes using chisel and hammer in order to get a straight bamboo split. You can also use a knife and hammer to do the same but chances are more for the split to be not straight. The idea is to split the hollow bamboo pole into two halves. Further split the two halves using a knife into 6 to 7 splits depending on the diameter of the bamboo pole. Further, cleaning the splits to 25 mm to 30 mm in width using a knife. In this process, three sides of the split needs to be plain leaving the skin on as demonstrated. Repeat the same for rest of the splits. Spread the required number of bamboo splits on the seat rest component evenly, and drill 4 mm to 5 mm drill holes for joinery as demonstrated. Bamboo pins of 4 mm to 5 mm are used to fill these drill holes as demonstrated. Apply synthetic resin adhesive on back of the split and on the cross connecting members at the drill points and then use bamboo pins to fill the drill holes. Bamboo pins of 4 mm to 5 mm are used to fill these drill holes as demonstrated. Measure the backrest length and mark the same on the hollow bamboo pole. Cut the bamboo pole using a hacksaw or a cross cut saw. Further, split these bamboo poles into splits of 25 mm to 30 mm in width, follow the same procedure as before. Further, clean the splits on three sides leaving the skin on, as demonstrated.
spread the backrest splits evenly, on the cross connecting members of the backrest, and stick them using super glue, as demonstrated. Sticking with super glue helps while drilling the holes, as the glue keeps the splits in place. Bamboo pins of 4 mm to 5 mm are used to fill these drill holes as demonstrated. Remove the jutting out bamboo pins using chisel and hammer, and sand the surfaces thoroughly. Assemble the furniture, and drill 8mm to 9mm drill hole, on all four intersecting points of seat rest component and front slash back leg components. Assemble the furniture, and drill 8mm to 9mm drill hole for joining all the components, using bolt and nut. <laughs> 